Hi! Hi! Are we live? Are we live? Um, this has been a while since I've done that, so I'm gonna need some people. I'm looking here. I'm looking here. I think, I think we're live, tell me. Um, yeah, we've got people watching. I think there's a bit of a lag, but I'm, I'm guessing that everyone is here. I'm just gonna see you on here. I've got some friends at home who are gonna tell me if they're seeing stuff. What have we got? Okay, right. Um, so I wanted to do this because it literally has been, I think it's been like two years. I'm seeing, seeing you all coming in now, hi. Um, wow, this is like, everything's going on. Hi, Jordan. Hi, hi, Dash, Josh, Shubia, Ben Wards, hi. Um, Dylan, hi, 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 hi. It's so nice to see all of you. Um, I have been living a life of solitude in here, in these four walls. You'll have been seeing on like Instagram stories, I'm going a bit mad. Um, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. And I wanted to do this video today to kind of like sit, chat, answer any questions. I'm gonna, just gonna see any questions coming in here. Um, I've got all the products lying here. Um, I've got stuff like pre-stylers, I've got stuff for thickening, I've got stuff for volume, I've got stuff for, uh, like, sleek hair. I've got products I've not even tried, so that's coming up. I've got this new one by Moroccan Oil Moulding Cream. I've got the new ones by Slick Gorilla. Um, I've also got Sasha Wan products, Fat Boy, so I think we're just gonna go for it. Um, oh wow, loads of questions coming in. This is good, this is good. Um, I'm gonna see what I can do on this to like tap something. Um, this is gonna tell us what's coming in. Um, we have questions too. People can, people can hear, thanks Jules. It's my friend Jules. Okay, so I am going to start on the pre-styling. Um, what kind of thing do you wanna do with this? So we've got some options. Uh, shave your head. Bobby, I can block people on this. I'm not shaving my head, um, but thanks. So, do you want, do you want big volume? And just type in the comments here so we can go big volume, we can go sleek and glossy, we can go textured, thick and full. Um, so when you decide on that, I can kind of look to that. So, I have, for like, Thickening, we can do like Bumble and Bumble. I've also got um, Label M Grooming Cream, which was one of my favorites, which I kind of think of as like a really budget friendly product. Um, stuff which you can go sleek or you can kind of smooth it up a bit. This is less than 10 pounds, so it's, it's good. Um, someone's asked me to use 40 series. Unfortunately, I don't have that here. That is at Man From Self HQ. Otherwise, I'd be all over and up and down, obviously. Um, we can go, Morris Motley, someone else is saying, slick back, we can maybe do a slick back, big volume, okay, I'm seeing this now. I'm with you, I am with you. Textured, thick, full, um, messy, okay, let's go for it then. Let's go big, textured, messy, thick and full. Um, so, I mean, this is too much. I don't know how people do this all the time. There's so much going on. Um, I'll come back and do another one of these two at some point and we'll do like a QA. and a um, okay, let's go for I'm gonna prep my hair. My hair is clean, it is towel dried, well it was, and now it's damp. So let's go for something like, I think we're gonna mix it up and maybe use something that I've not done in ages. So I might use a bit of Liberland grooming cream. For me guys, a grooming cream is one of like the best sort of products that you can do so many different things with. If you want something which is like really sleek, sort of more that sort of formal red carpet. I mean, we're not getting out at the moment. Um, sort of look, then it's great for that. But it's also really good for prepping the hair. This one by Label M has got heat defense in it. So it means you're not gonna burn your hair when you're using um, um, the hair dryer. It's also great if you wanna start layering. Um, if you wanna start sort of layering texture into the hair. I've got the mirror back here. I've got you here. I've got the comments here. Um, Elite Five, I'm seeing you asking the best um, haircut for an oval face. So an oval face, 
tends to be sort of longer than it is wide. The whole thing with sort of hair and finding the best hair style or hair cut for your face, there's two things. One is like your own personal confidence and how you can pull something off. I think, you know, if you've got the right sort of confidence, the right sort of attitude, you can wear anything. But hairstyles and hair shapes are all about balancing proportions. So if you're longer than you are wide, then you want to um, sort of widen the hair. So actually having something a bit more, having longer sides is gonna do that. I've got a bit of a heart-shaped face actually, so it's kind of comes round and down like that. I've got a bit of a jaw, could have a better jaw. But actually, you'll remember back in the day, I had really short sort of fade. Let me know if you remember when I had the really super short fade. Um, and I like that, but actually having a little bit more weight worked really well. 187 comments, this is flying. Um, I have to keep an eye on all of this. Shout out to Glasgow. Hi, Robbie. How are you? Um, sheer Revival, yes, we've got stuff like that. Uh, big fan from Burma. Hi, Richard, Adrian Matt Paste. Adrian Matt Paste, <laughs> no, that's not right. Arcadian Matt Paste. I think I actually have. Um, so we can try some of that. So, the hair has got the grooming cream in it. It's been smoothed, but I'm gonna now just apply loads and loads of texture into it. So let's go for texture tonic. I've had a few people asking what the difference between a Veda texture tonic is and a Veda thickening tonic. Um, the key thing about this is, um, yes, McBain, I am still using a Veda thickening tonic. Um, that is here. I love this product. It's really natural, it smells amazing, it wraps the hair, makes it feel thick, it makes it feel full. My hair always feels great with this and it gives it that sort of weightless volume. You'll often find that maybe with some other products, if it's something's volumizing, it tends to sort of make it feel like it's really heavy and that just isn't great. So um, this doesn't do that. But the difference with this is the thickening, the name kind of gives it away. The thickening will just make the hair feel even thicker and fuller whereas the texture will give it loads and loads of weightless texture, like you'd get from a salt spray, but it will be a lot lighter. And I should say, if you're not watching this live, I will go back through this and find the products that I've spoken about and we can get it in. Um, but this is just a little bit more texture tonic, like so. And you can see, let me see if I can zoom into the hair. I mean, this could go awful, couldn't it? You can see there, it's damp. This is one thing I, I always have, It's when my hair is wet, I can see the scalp because my hair is really fine. I did that video on fine hair. Um, so it's always best for me to really make it feel really, really full of product, especially in the thickening. Um, hello to Greece. Are you gonna try Morris Motley's new version of Chrome? Yes, I've got that. Um, these are moving so fast. This is great, but it also really puts me on edge. I'm like, ah. Oh. Um, if you've missed all of this, there'll be questions. You can sort of ask stuff down there. Also, I'm on Instagram, man for himself, so you can ask as many things as you want. Okay, so the hair is set. Do you want me to go sort of just using my hands, or do you want me to use like a round brush, we've also got a flat brush. This is one by the boys at By Verlaine and um, Slick Car Boys. If you really want that big volume and texture, then we could maybe do this, the round brush. I can show you really how I use this to make it really huge. You can do the same sort of thing with your hands, but this works really well. Um, all these questions, all these questions are so great. Um, I'm just trying to keep up with you guys. You're like, you're well ahead of me. Um, someone's asking something here. Can anyone tell me what products should I use for losing hair? Shampoo, conditioner, and others. I'm um, Caesar Cuckoo. Sorry if I got your name wrong. Um, we have loads on manfromself.com about that. The solutions pages, really, that are gonna help you find the best for you. I know that anything to do with hair loss, when your hair doesn't feel as good as it really should, um, it can really get to you mentally. And I'm sure a lot of people think, oh, it's just hair, da, da, da. But your hair is your clown clowning, crowning glory. So when it's not right, it does make you feel a little bit low. So there's loads on there. There's stuff about shampoos. There's um, conditioners on there. Obviously, Nioxin, one of my absolute favorites. But there's also stuff um, from the guys at Suns. It talks about finasteride, minoxidil. There's loads of it. So um, check that out, Caesar. Um, love from Lebanon. Hi to Lebanon. God, you guys are from 
absolutely everywhere. It does make me feel like I'm not alone, which is really nice. Um, use those hands, old school Robin. That's you in. Um, hands, Hilmar. Hands, Virac. Round brush from London Calling. Brush from Newer. Um, hands from Virac. Uh, what else? Round brush from Tree. Okay, natural. Let's, round brush, another one, round brush. The quiff roller, okay, Anton. Anton, you have decided. Okay, quiff roller, so, sorry if I blast you with this hair dryer, but this is gonna be a medium heat, as always. Medium heat, fast speed, and I'm gonna work up. I'm gonna start by doing it with my hands, then I'm gonna finish with the round brush. And um, if we want loads of volume, I'm just gonna go really messy and textured when I'm drying it. It's gonna be mostly in the styling that we can then get into that next bit, okay. If you've got any comments, any questions, now is the time to get them in while I'm blasting. Sing a song, tell me a story, put it all in there, keep me company. You can see there, by mixing that grooming cream and then taking some of the texture tonic, it's made it almost like it's got that sort of salty beachiness in it. But in terms of the texture, you don't have that drying feeling that sea salt so often has. Um, I have people watching this, still all good, thanks. This is what happens when you are by yourself. Gotta have people telling me, Jules, you're an absolute babe for that, thank you. Also from Ali, thanks. And you guys are still here, so you're really helping. Um, okay. This is what I'm really enjoying about having longer hair at the moment. This is a mess, I think I'm gonna cut it. Um, and if I do, I'll obviously film it. Um, but this, long sides, I'm kind of obsessed with. If you've got super short hair, then you can't do this. But when you just sweep it back, it gives it this really, really great classic look that I absolutely love at the moment. And then when you've got all this volume, you can really play with it and have a bit more fun. Um, I did that video on shave it off or grow it out. And this is one of the best things about having longer hair is you can just be so versatile with it and really play with it. So um, yeah, I love it. Tom. Tom L, what do you think about Label M Thickening Tonic as of now? I use it right now for a side swept textured style with Rough Rider, love Rough Rider. Uh, Dauntless, I'm still to try. I'm sorry, I will get onto that. And American Gardens Clay, I don't know that. I'll have to try that. Um, yes, Thickening Tonic by Label M, I still think is really great. That came around at the same time um, as the Thickening Tonics, the Grooming Cream and Thickening Tonic, I love it. I, I find it slightly more gritty um, and less sort of conditioning than something like the Aveda Thickening Tonic or even something like the Kevin Murphy, but I do think it's a great product for the price. I think it really does what it should. Um, and I think for any guys that do want that thickening aspect to hair, Label M is great. And they've actually got, um, I don't have it here, the shampoos and conditioners, there's some sort of favorites here that I've got that we can maybe do in a bit of a Q&A at the end. Um, but yeah, okay, let's keep going. I have to say, you guys are great, honestly. I was a bit nervous that no one would come in and that this wouldn't work. This could still go tits up, but um, <laughs> this is good. Also, happy birthday to us. Yesterday was seven years of Man For Himself to the day since I uploaded my first video. And um, it's been quite the um, quite the journey. Um, and it's just, it's just great that you're still around, so thanks. Okay, now that I've got this texture in, this quiff roller. What I would always say about using this is, Start at the root, take it back slightly, lock it and pull it just slightly. And you're gonna to start to build in this great quiff. You can see there, the hair's got a bounce. Um, let's go for it. So it's a case of pull up, push down slightly, lock it, twist it and through. And you're just gonna to start to pull the hair. I say pull, be careful with it. And if you see that, 
use the nozzle of the hairdryer, point it onto the round brush, not onto your hair, okay? If you see any sort of um, smoke, then sometimes it can actually be more the product on the hair that's burning off slightly. So don't worry too much, but if there is an issue, stop. If your hair feels hot, if it feels sore, stop, stop, stop. That. We're gonna get like this huge sort of pompy quiff. That, <laughs> look at that. When, because my hair is so fine, even when it's got volume, it can do this sort of like flyaway thing. But the positive about that is when we get product into it, it is going to work. So, okay, let's, um, I'm happy with that actually. Look at that, guys. That is thick and full. Okay, what else are you saying? Um, Ali N, no matter which product I use, my hair becomes oily and greasy. I have thinning hair. I love from Melbourne. Hi. Melbourne is an amazing city. Uh, great coffee, great style, really good restaurants. Had a few hectic nights out in there um, when I was traveling. Anyway, that is it. traveling. I went from like hotel to hotel. Okay, um, what I would say is, if it feels greasy, then it's obviously your scalp is producing sebum. So maybe you're actually washing it too much. When you're washing your hair too much, especially with really heavy sulfate shampoo, a sulfate is a surfactant. So a surfactant, think of it as a, a like a, very liquid, so a degreaser for your dishes. What it's gonna do is it's gonna lift stuff straight off the scalp. If you're washing your hair too much, it's actually gonna lift off all that natural oil and um, the sebum, which coats your scalp, it protects it, and it also coats the hair. It's it's a basically a waterproof thing. But if you're washing it loads, you're taking all of that off, and your scalp kind of says what's happening, and it ends up producing more. So I would say for you, you might have to have a few skanky days where you sort of stop, let your hair and your scalp reset and then go again. It's always best if you're having issues with stuff like this, just to stop, reset and start again. And then from there kind of work out what's happening. Okay, right. As always, cold blast of air to, uh, to cool the hair. You should always cool your, uh, cool your hair before styling. Styling with hot hair is gonna drop. Cool hair. That's what you want. It's going to seal the cuticle, which is the outer surface. Think of when the hair is hot as, okay, this is a bit of hair. And your hair has got lots of um, cuticles on it. So cuticles are going to push up. When it's hot, they open to let the heat out. When it's cold, they flatten. And what that does is really up that shine. It's also going to make the hair stronger. So you want to cool the hair. If you don't have a cool shot button on your hair dryer, just take that right down, okay? Or leave the hair slightly. I'm seeing loads more comments, these are great. Um, you guys ask stuff that I never even think of. Um, someone's asking what I think of um, Da Josh Uber. It's asking what I think of Johnny Depp's hair. Yeah, I like Johnny Depp's hair. Um, I, I'm not sure if I have similar hair as his. His looks like naturally quite thick, but then again, it could be like full of product. Um, but I like that way that he sort of styles it, or his team styles it. Um, have I ever used Pete and Pedro's putty? Yes, I'm sure I did a brand battle that you guys will keep me right. I'm sure we put it in a brand battle because we battled it out against another white label product. Um, and it, it wasn't it wasn't great to tell you the truth. Um, what else we've got coming in? Wow, it's just so, there's so many comments. Um, who else we've got? What do you think of hair oil? Um, Varik is asking that, Varik, um, I don't use a lot of like conditioning oil treatments. Um, I have the Blue Mon cloud, con cloud Control, which I'm still to try. Um, I do a lot of my sort of treatments in conditioning. I also do my treatments in the products I use, so I don't use anything that's gonna really require me to use too much. Um, Tim, you are most welcome. Keep the questions coming. I will answer as many as possible. Okay, so that is the hair sort of dry, it is full of texture, it is full of volume, I'm sure you can agree. Um, let's have a little look again, look at that. 
Behold the volume. I love doing my hair like this. It just looks, it looks kind of silly, but it's, it's still fun. You can see there, you, I can still sort of see into the scalp, but using the right sort of styling product, we'll get into it. Okay, right, let's move on to, I mean, I'm being very technical here. Let's move on to styling. There we go. Okay, so styling. Um, what would you like? So we can do, I, oh, I can also see thumbs up coming in. That's great. Keep your thumbs up coming. I like that. That's giving me like a little boost. Okay, so styling. We can go clay. And clays that I have include Kevin Murphy. Type in what you want here, guys. I'm going to keep watching this. I'm going to press new comments. Um, so we've got Rough Rider. Can you like thumb up a comment? No, um, I don't have Knight Rider with me at the moment. Um, but I've got Rough Rider, I've got Cassius by Evo. That's a sort of lighter clay, that's a heavier clay. I've been using that a lot recently, so I'd prefer not to use it. I kind of want to have a bit of fun and change it up, if it's possible. Um, I've also got M3, which is a classic for me. I've got Apothecary 87, I've got a Veda. Uh, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. I've got Arcadian, someone was asking for Arcadian. I'm gonna keep that there just in case. Then guys, into the new products that I've not yet used. I have Slick Gorilla Light Work. Um, this is a paraben-free water-based hairstyling. Again, see, I've not used it. This is this is brand new. Um, Morris Motley, I have done a lot on Morris Motley and I don't have it here. Um, so much is in the office at the moment and I kind of just had to fill a bag and get as much one as possible, so I'm sorry. Um, Aveda, one of you guys wanting Jai Patel. Um, Dylan, you're wanting Moroccan oil molding cream or Moroccan oil clay. Yes, okay, so this is new. Should we try it? Um, this is the molding cream by Moroccan oil. You can see, totally new. Give me some thumbs, I see them instantly. Thumb it up now, <laughs> if you've not yet done that. If you wanna see the new Moroccan oil. Look, brand new. Moroccan oil, Moroccan oil, Moroccan oil. Yes, are we gonna do this? Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, wow. Okay, it's really you're really pushing through these. Um, thumbs are coming. Okay, that's an option. There is a lag. I'm so sorry about this. Moroccan oil molding cream. Okay, let's do it then. Um, I I will come back and maybe do another video because I have got all the new ones by Slick Gorilla. I bought these before we went into lockdown, and I have um styling products from Sasha Wan. These guys sent it to me. You know I love the Sasha Wan. Ocean Mist, I think this is amazing. I've also got a shampoo and conditioner by them that I can talk to you about afterwards. Um, it is so good. Uh, matte wax and the fiber paste. Again, never used, so we can do that. But for today, let's go for a little bit of um, molding cream. So you're getting a bit of a first impressions with me here. Um, okay. So, okay, thumbs are coming. <gasps> Jay Mitch, put thumbs down. Um, but we're gonna go with this, okay. So. This is, um, I, I hate the Moroccan oil um, packaging. I know it's so stupid to say, but I, I'm not a fan of it. Okay, this is water-based. Um, it's got beeswax in it, and that's synthetic, so it means it's, it's man-made beeswax. So it's gonna have, I hope, a little sort of waxy consistency. Um, there's also glycerin, palmitic acid, it's got fragrance in it. Is there any sort of clay, would be my question. No, because it's a molding cream, Robin. It's for all hair types. Cool, okay, let's go for it. Um, always with your products, and I say this all the time, layer it. This is really smooth. This feels a bit like if you um, if you dried a marshmallow, dried, if you heated a marshmallow up and it went a bit soft, this is how this feels. Um, wow, that's fibrous. Let's, let me show you this. So one thing you can see with fiber products is, if you get them into your hand, then, do you see that? then you get fiber all over you. Fiber products are great for building um, volume. This smells amazing. This smells really good. Um, they're, it smells like a holiday actually. Oh my God, I've been transported. There you go. Um, they are great for building volume. They're also really good for starting to sort of mold the hair into different positions. I think they're really versatile and fiber is something which is relatively new. American Crew have got an amazing fiber foam this one, fiber grooming foam, 
I love this. I think it's so good. And um, who else has got a fiber? It's it's mainly American crew. The Blue Man, there was a Blue Morn, sorry, product, which I'm sure was fibrous. Yes. Um, maybe it was even their Meraki. So I'm gonna just take about that. Let's see. Always emulsify your product. So that means to get it into the hands and take it from that white or brown or gray, whatever it is. Elite, you see it. I like you guys that keep like just telling me, yes, yes, purple apple. Um, you are, yes, it's nice when someone says that they can see what I'm talking about. Okay, that has emulsified, it's gone. And I'm just gonna brush, sweep. I'm not really kind of going through the hair, so it's less styling, it's more application. It's just to really give it a bit of, um, give it a bit of like texture and a bit of volume. The Meraki is fibrous, that comes from Oxalis. Hi. Um, Tim, you use Pete and Pedro Putty. Do you have any alternatives? Yes. Um, one of the best places, sorry to like blow my own trumpet on this, um, for looking at products is manfromself.com. Honestly, we have over 200 products which aren't um, like paid for reviews. It's my reviews which I have done, um, which work. You can see here on the site. If you go on to manfromself.com and then you go into hair care, you will be able to see stuff about um, styling. So you can like search for things or I've got a whole sort of area here for hair clay. And these are some of my absolute favorite hair clays. Um, that's not favorite, that's not a favorite, but you can check them by star rating. So you could check in here by my sort of my top rated, which is that. Um, you can see right there. And you can see like Claymation, I love. Rough Rider, I think is great. Moroccan Oil, Texture Clay. So guys, after that, if you check it out, it should be able to help you. But um, yeah, a lot of time and effort has gone on to that. So you can sort of see what, see what the deal is right there. Okay, so this has got a little bit of tackiness to it. So just to remind you, this is the, <laughs> remind you, remind me, this is the Molding Cream by Moroccan Oil. Um, a little bit of tackiness. I do quite like that though in a product because I find it reassuring. It means that um, you are going to be able to sort of move the hair and direct it because you guys wanted volume. Yeah, you ordered this. This is, this is mad. Um, this actually, I kind of love. Dylan is asking, would I dye my hair one day? Um, Dylan, when I was 19, um, and if anyone knows me from university days, <laughs> I dyed my hair when I was 19 and I looked like a rent boy. Um, which if you're a rent boy, I salute you. Everyone's got to earn a living. But I just didn't look good with it. Um, and then it, when it grew out, I just, I wasn't quite cool enough in my own skin yet. And um, <laughs> it just didn't look good. It didn't look good. But I am tempted, like one of my best mates um, is a hairdresser and he said, yeah, go for it. Like dye your hair, go blonde. Um, I'm not sure. You can let me know. You guys kind of decide what I do. I say you decide. I'm not cutting my hair for now. Um, okay, a little bit more product I just did there when you weren't looking. Um, I mean, you were looking, I wasn't looking. I'm just gonna like brush again. One thing that I'm loving doing, and you'll have seen that in the um, grown outsides video, is I like was really messing with the hair and kind of like doing this. Because what that's doing is, it's almost like breaking the structure of the hair up. Breaking the structure of the hair up. And it's allowing you then to place it again. Um, but we can do something like that, you know? Is this the kind of volume that you ordered? Is this what you ordered? Look at that, that's crazy. We're gonna have to sort that. No. It's too much, guys, it's too much. I couldn't go out like this. That's better, isn't it? These full sideburns are far too long. I'm gonna have to cut them. I'll go live again and cut them at some point. Um, Virek wants me to go blonde. Elite Five wants me to dye my hair. Go platinum blonde, I think you'd see it. I think some of you guys are trying to trick me. <laughs> I think you're really trying to trick me um, because it's not gonna look good. 
Uh, what else have we got coming? So many questions. Go Platinum Blonde, um, Marcello, hi, hi, hi. Um, what are my favorite pomades? That comes from uh, N-Y-I-M-I-O-San. I'm sorry, I just totally got that wrong. Um, some of my favorite pomades. Uh, so it's weird because pomades, pomade has been used as a catch-all term recently. So you get like clay pomades, wax pomades. But actually a pomade pomade by its very nature is closer to a wax. So pomade comes from the French pom, which is apple. Um, and it was made from apple and wax, I'm sure of some sort. Like rousals um, basically came from pig fat when they started creating it. I like rousals actually, I think it's really good. The oil-based stuff is heavy, but it smells amazing. It gives you really good hold, which is manageable and malleable throughout the day. And it just like, I think it looks great in the hair, but it's a bitch to wash out. Um, other pomades that I like, have I tried this one? The Aveda, Aveda pomade, yeah, you can see there. Sometimes pomades kind of separate a little bit and you get this sort of oiliness on the top. But sort of water-based pomades I also think are, are really great. Um, pomade is a product kind of type that I don't tend to use that much, but they are good. Okay, that styling cream is, has made my hair huge. Are you pleased with yourself? You guys, you ordered this. Um, oh goodness, it's all getting a bit much in here. I need a glass of wine. Um, how long is your hair on top at the moment? That comes from State of Sin. I can show you, let me just, I've just taken the tiniest bit more product there. The hair is like there. It's down to my nose, that's the front part. Um, this is kind of like back to 23 year old me who had like huge cartoon character hair. But it looked bigger back then because the sides were so short. But now this is longer, it's actually allowing me to do stuff. Um, okay, one thing you can do with a, like a style like this, I'm just gonna show you really quickly. Um, I know you didn't ask for this, but you can start to get a comb. I would go wide tooth, so something a bit like this. Fine tooth is gonna make it too regimented. But if you start to comb back on itself, you're gonna get this more like pomp-like effect, like that. And if you just layer the product in, sweep, sweep, and push back, and you're just layering it as you go. I kind of did this yesterday for the um, the cocktail video I did on Instagram, which was like a bit of a sketch thing, which I enjoyed. Um, Kieran, the hair colour you have right now suits you. I wouldn't dye it. Thanks, Kieran. This is my natural hair colour, so I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change it. Um, how can I have long hair like Maluma? I don't know who Maluma is. Oh God, don't make me look to be stupid. Um, sometimes when people ask me about footballers, I'm like. Um, I'll Google them. Um, would a perm damage your hair? That comes from Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Um, if you get it done right, no. Don't like do something like that yourself. Go and see, once we're out of lockdown, go and see someone who can really help you do that properly and you'll be able to get a good hairstyle. Um, the joys I get to have my hair, male pattern, eyebrow. Um, hi, peace. I mean, that eyebrow looks amazing. I think you're really pulling it off, so I salute you. Um, Jay Mitch is asking about Morris Motley, the new chrome. I'll, I'll get to that, I do have that. Um, someone's asking about Oasis from Templeton Tonics. Still not tried that, I'm so sorry. Okay, I digress. So I'm just gonna mess that up again. Something else I think really helps to give um, sort of messy texture. If you're finding that a product that you've used has kind of smoothed your hair out too much, top tip from me is get a bit of powder and it can be a cheap powder. There's like ones by VO5, which are a couple of like three, four pounds. There's stuff which is more expensive and um, like Slick Gorilla, which is really tacky. There's the sort of brunette one. So if you are, um, especially if you've got white hair, you want to add a little bit of brunette to that. There's ones like this. Um, but what I would say is, Get some powder. Um, Kevin's asking how often to use the nioxin system. Um, I maybe use nioxin like three times a week, shampoo and condition. If I've used an oil-based or wax-based product, I'll wash my hair, unless I'm gonna be doing the same thing the next day. But especially when you're exercising, you don't want sweat and grease and rank stuff getting caught in that waxy product. So um, 
yeah, about three times a week. And then sometimes I mix it up with some other products. I might talk to you at the end. If you want to talk to shampoos and conditioners and sort of a general Q&A after this, let me know here and I'll make sure that I sort of factor in some, t some time. It's not like I'm going anywhere, is it? Um, but I can talk about some sort of like deep cleansing, toxifying shampoos and sort of some of my favorites. And also sh uh, shampoos to give you a bit more texture. I've got some face. So, okay, I've done that. And I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna just sweep at it. This is just gonna add a little bit more grit to the hair. Like the tiniest bit, you don't wanna be doing too much. Who are you and what are you doing there? Wow, we've been doing this for 36 minutes. I have to say, I'm enjoying this, thanks. You've made an old man very happy. Um, an old man who hasn't seen a human being in about four weeks, okay, a little bit more. And I'm just gonna chuck it in this time. How do we feel about this? Is it too much? Have I gone? Have I gone too far? Have I gone too far? <laughs> have I? Is it too much? Um, how to get thicker hair? A deal? There is so much. You must be new. I've done so much on sort of thickening treatments, thickening products, the best stuff for shampoos and conditioners, the best clays, the best everything. Have a look for the channel, there is so much. And also manfromself.com, another shameless push and plug. There's so much going on there, so please have a little look. And if you're still stuck, I can help you. Um, Usman, do you think Bumble and Bumble products are worth the high point price point? I'm a fan of their sea salt um, spray and dry spun. Dry spun I love too, um, but they aren't the cheapest. No, Bumble and Bumble isn't cheap, but I have found a real friend in Bumble and Bumble. Some of the products are amazing. This one is actually from medium to thick here. This is their primer tonic. This one is just the prep primer, which is for sort of fine to uh, normal here. But although mine's fine to normal, I prefer this. I use this as a pre-styler just because it really does give my hair that great foundation before I style it to then chuck in some sea salt spray on top of that. This is amazing. Like this must be my third or fourth bottle. Um, and I actively go out to get this. It is so good. This one I like, but I don't love. Um, so I think when you find like an amazing Bumble and Mumble product, they are good. Sumo Clay, I like. Sumo Tech is good. Um, Sumo Tech is their original. Bumble and Mumble Sumo Tech. Yes, that's their original. It's a bit of a hybrid product, which does quite a lot. But they've got Sumo Gel, not so much on it. Um, Semi Sumo, which is a wax. Sumo Clay, I like. Um, Dream Infinity. Ah, oh, thanks very much. That was just him saying that he enjoys the videos. Thanks. Um, okay. I'm gonna go here. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. It's huge. It looks a little too much. Um, I'll have to get a thumbnail for this. If anyone can screen grab at any point and then sort of tweet me or whatever you guys use and <laughs> send, me a, send me a picture, that would be cool. Um, yeah, do you know what? So, someone just messaged there. I wanna see who it was. Um, Raymer, uh, Chinandarto, sorry, 26. Everyone's always been rocking the same hairstyle though. I guess that's just men's fashion trend thing. Yeah, I agree. You know, I don't change my hair up too often, but I do tweak tiny little things. Sometimes I have it going this way and it's flatter to the head. Sometimes I do this and it's huge. Sometimes I'll do like a big sort of pompy, quiffy thing and it's just huge. I think it depends how you feel, but you have the same face. If you took this different hair and put it on different people, it would change. So um, you work with what you have, you know? Okay, for finishing and fixing, let me move it on. Okay, finishing and fixing. I'm not gonna use any hairspray. I've not been using hairspray really while I've been at home and um, because I'm not going outside. Um, I'm going outside for my one walk or run in the morning. It is pissing outside in London. Um, it's not too nice. But um, I'm just gonna use, for finishing and fixing, this to me is about taking flyaways. So any of those really annoying hairs that we all get that just stick up and are just super annoying. Or just to kind of smooth things out or pull things out. It depends kind of what finish you want. So what I do for this is just take a little bit more product 
and I'll just leave a little bit on the hands. And the first thing that I'll do is I'll use my flat hand and I'll just brush. And this is just picking up any of those flyaways and it's placing them. And you can pull around your messy grown out hair like this, or you could actually just tuck I need to shave and I need to cut. And then do the same here. What else are you guys saying? Skyrim, wait, have you used any Davinus products, Rushy? Um, yes, Rushy, I have, but I'm still to sort of talk about them on here. Um, Jay Mitch, have, how did you get the new Chrome early? It didn't come out yet. It's now called Shine Styling Bam. Ah, I'm pretty sure I have it. The guys from Morris Motley sent me the new um, the new Morris Motley, which is like Morris Motley 3.0. Um, and they also, because I got the stuff that was the Lunar one, which was the special edition, and I used that. Um, I'm pretty sure they sent it to me. If they've not, then they failed me, and I will have to get it. Um, but I'll, I'll check. There, as I say, there's so much in the office at the moment. Um, Chris Nukar, um, Sabakarin. Oh, I'm really messing up on names. Um, do you use coconut oil? Coconut oil is an amazing conditioner. It's an amazing um, natural conditioner, which if you've got very dry hair, if you've dyed your hair, if you've been out in the sun too much, if you do a lot of swimming and you need something conditioned to condition the hair, coconut oil is gonna be your friend. When I was blonde, bleach blonde, I used a lot of coconut oil. You can leave it as a sort of mask, stick it on the hair, leave it for 30 minutes or an hour, wash it out, your hair is gonna be silky smooth. You don't wanna do it too much because it's gonna make the hair feel, especially as sort of men, we don't want our hair to be too like flimsy and floaty, or maybe you do, go wild, do it. But if your hair's shorter, you do want to have a bit of a natural grit and texture, but this is just gonna really help. So yeah, um, in short, yes, I like coconut oil. My favorite YouTuber is Robin, and you are one of my favorites too, with the rest of you guys, because you guys are good, 166 of you at the moment. Thanks very much. Drops up, goes up, comes down. Okay, I am happy with that. I'm really happy with that. I think that looks cool. And it looks a lot better than it did at the start, doesn't it? Are you happy? Because I'm happy. Um, okay, Tonaldo, hi, silver green hairspray. There's no silver green hairspray today. It's just me. It's me, myself, my hands, and just the styling product. And that's what I'm going with at the moment. Um, right, should we do some questions? Who is keen for some questions? I am. Are you? Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to have a look on this and see what comes up. Get your questions in. Get your questions in. Candles. Hi. Yes, I like candles. Do you have anything for hair loss control? Um, things for hair loss control. Yes. So I just actually did a video on... We're on Friday. That video was... Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, I'm sure it was. And I did a video on some of the most common hair loss treatments, including minoxidil, which is a foam or it can be a solution. It comes in 2% or 5%. Minoxidil is all about um, making blood flow into the scalp, into the vessels. And when you increase blood flow, you increase oxygen oxygen in, it's gonna to help to really boost that follicle. Hair loss comes from follicle miniaturization. That is when the follicle is starved. I mean, it's starved and the follicle goes into the death stage. There's three stages, um, anagen, catagen, and telogen, I wanna say. Telogen is when it's dead and it falls out. Now that does it naturally, but what minoxidil is, it helps force it back into that growth stage, anagen. Um, so, Minoxidil is one, you can use foam and topical, or finasteride. Finasteride is a DHT blocking um, prescription pill. Finasteride, um, so DHT is dihydrotestosterone. About 10% of testosterone is converted into DHT. Um, what this is, um, so it's the thing that actually makes us, uh, give us sort of masculine qualities of a deeper voice, I'm a hairy chest, uh, your balls to drop, because they're actually all created down there in your gonads. Um, but when DHT att attaches, att attaches to the follicle, it starves it and it makes the hair fall out. It moves it into this sort of death stage. So DHT blocking 
um, from within the body helps to slow down the production of D of DHT. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. That's what finasteride does. DHT blocking shampoos tend to do the same sort of thing and they do it onto the scalp. Um, and then I'm seeing more qu um, questions. And then you have like other stuff which is more natural, like biotin. Biotin is vitamin B7. It's also known as the H vitamin. Um, this is for keratin. So keratin is the natural protein in our body. It's what makes our sort of um, nails thick and full and it's uh, what makes our hair healthy. So actually taking biotin tablets can tend to make things thicker. Um, your hair thicker, <laughs> I should be clear on that. But you know, it's the, the, the proven ones are, are minoxidil and um, finasteride. Um, what else we got here? ABD, I've answered your question, mate. Um, Tom, uh, hair loss control, yes, that video will be helpful. Um, thanks, Dream. He says my hair looks natural-esque. There's nothing natural here. It's full of product. Uh, what else we got? What candles would I, would I suggest? Not grooming, but I like that. Can you see there's a candle? Where is he? He's over there. I've got a candle there. Um, I love candles. That one's just a Yankee. Yankee's a bit of a nothing brand to me. Hi, Yankee, if you're watching. I'd love your candles. Um, but some of my favourites are, I've got an Aqua de Parma one there. I've also got a Killian candle, which I love. It's called The Scent of Winter. It is amazing. Um, oh, who else? A Diptyque. There's a Diptyque candle up there. That's actually it there. Um, I love Diptyque. I think it's amazing. Um, Oscar, hi Robin, are you sick and tired of the skin fade trend? Oscar, you read my mind. Um, the skin fade is fine. It's kind of, I'm just gonna say it's low maintenance. It's not low maintenance, you need a haircut every two weeks. This has been a dream actually, this, looking in that mirror, has been a dream because actually, it's allowed me to just basically grow my hair and just go with it. Having the skin fade, I really had to keep on top of it. But actually, this has been, this has been great. Um, so yes, I do. Uh -huh. I really love your hairstyle. I really love yours too. Um, am I going to review the Dauntless lineup? Yes, um, I will. I will. I will. I will. Once we're through with this, I will get onto it. Um, I'm really behind on these questions. I'm going to shoot forward. Have you done an off center? Yes, I have. It is off center. Um, are you going to review? Are you going to review? So many of the same questions. What fragrance am I wearing at the moment? At the moment, I am wearing um, Tom Ford, uh, Costa Azura. I brought home all my Tom Ford fragrances. There must be about 10 to 12. Do you want a video on that? Message me because I'm tempted. I've also brought home all my Aqua de Parma fragrances. I have to say, a lot of these are gifted. Gifted being they're sent for review and that's when I put them up on the channel and I, I give them a good go. Some products, quite a lot of products, I buy myself because I want and I know that you guys want to see them. Um, a lot of fragrance though does get gifted, so I'm, I'm a very lucky boy. But I, I always think, you know, nothing comes for free. There's an, always an expectation. Um, what else are you saying? Best Kevin Murphy products. Um, that comes from Walgoid Wong. Um, mm -mm, best. I love Freehold. Freehold is a creamier sort of product. Um, it's slightly, I was gonna say fibrous. It's not fibrous, but it's got that same sort of texture. You can see there. Did you see? Did you see my Freehold? This is a really nice product. Um, this one is, you can see there, it's got a slight stickiness to it. I really like this for doing maybe more like a style like this, or you might actually, do you know what, I'm gonna take a little bit of this. I'm gonna sweep it in. It's quite waxy. I love this one. Rough Rider is one of the best products. I absolutely love it. I've gone into my third now of this. Gritty Business was a product that I thought was amazing. Gritty Business was like Rough Rider, but it had this really cool texture in it. It was almost like sort of little, little particles and they don't make it anymore. But this has just got a slight shine to it. Let's go there. Do you see? It just gives it this quite natural looking gloss. I might just do that. I really like it as a product. It's actually a product that I um, 
first got introduced to in a barber shop and they used it in my hair and I just I don't ever really buy stuff in barber shops. You know when you finished and um your barber says, Hi, would you like to try this product and would you like to pay for it? It's like twenty pounds. And I always go, I'm good, yeah, I'm fine. But actually when they used that freehold, I loved it so much that I had to have it. So I actually bought it. Um so there you go. Gonna answer a few more. Um otherwise we're gonna be getting on to an hour. Um also guys I should say if you want more of these um like live videos, you have to let me know, please, because sometimes it's people who are silent actually want it and then don't say and then other people say no and blah blah blah. But this is good that you're here. So if you want to see more of that then then please do let me know. Uh, favorite shampoos. Yes. That comes from Cow Chic. Cow Chic. I like what you did there. Can I press that? Oh my god. I can press these things. That's amazing. That just blew my mind. Aha! <laughs> Aha! <laughs> love that. Um, oh, that's made me really pleased. Favourite shampoos? Amazing. Amazing. Um, so, Nioxin System 1 is my go-to. I used that for years before I worked with them. My hands are so sticky. I used it for years before I worked with them. I love it. It's what's got my hair really to its best at the moment. And from now, it's just really a case of finding the best products for me. Um, so I love it. Like, honestly, so good. Um, there's so much about it on my site if you do want to check it out. But there are other products that I also love. Um, the fudge, look, this one is so cheap. Fudge expander, whip conditioner and jelly shampoo. I used to use these a lot. And actually they did make my hair, my hair feel thicker. Um, I really, really liked them. I thought they worked so well. So these are good. Um, I also love the Bumble and Bumble Full Form Thickening. These are great. Shampoo, conditioner, shampoo, conditioner. Not cheap, but are very good. There's one product from Bumble and Bumble in terms of shampoos that I think is like next level good. This is a detoxifying shampoo. It's called Sunday. And it's a product that you would use, say, once a week. I always kept this in the office because if I was testing a product which was really oily, like I mean like heavy, so heavy and hectic, like the likes of a traditional pomade like Rousel's, if I found I couldn't get anything to take it out, this did that. It goes in, it lifts out the product, it lifts out oil, it is so good. And it's um, yeah, weekly detoxifying shampoo that removes residue and buildup, so good. Um, it does say not for, um, color treated hair because I'm sure that's actually going to lift some of that out but this is great. The Sasha Wan Ocean Mist which is this, the uh, sea salt spray that I always go on about is amazing but they actually do a shampoo and conditioner. These are great for that sort of gritty textured volume. I love these and um, Sasha Wan I think is an amazing brand. It's from Stockholm in Sweden. They're just so good and yeah I love it. There's another brand called Christoph Robin. Christoph Robin is a hairdresser who has like, he's amazing. He's such a character. I met him in, pa I met him in Paris and um, I was invited, invited across for a trip, went into his hair salon. He is glamorous, he's quirky. The shop is amazing. He's had celebrity um, clients from like back in the 80s, the 90s, he's had Kylie, he's great. And um, he also knows some of the best restaurants. He loves wine, he's good. Anyway, um, he has got some amazing products. And one is this. This is a sea salt shampoo by him. Um, it's in French. Um, I'm not gonna try that. I did do French at school. But it's a cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt. Now, this is so good. If I'm finding that my hair ever feels limp, you know when it just feels a bit nothing and it just is not really happening. Um, Kaushik, I'm still with you. Um, this is so good. So can I get into this? And actually I recommended this to a friend recently. Can't get into this. I'm gonna have to use my mouth. That's disgusting. But here we go. Mm. Oh, it is so salty. Oh, wouldn't recommend that. Um, you can see there, it's really, really gritty. This is great to really scrub at the scalp. If you've got any product buildup, oh, that was the worst idea I've ever had. If you've got any product buildup on your scalp, or you just want to give it that sort of beachy look, this is amazing. I absolutely love it. This is around about the 23, 24 pound mark. I've had this for about a year and a half. Um, it lasts really well and you scoop it out. It's amazing. If you want something a bit cheaper, it still does the job, then this one, it's called Big, yeah, Big Sea Salt Shampoo by Lush. Exactly sort of same thing. Not as good, I would say. The sort of granules of salt are thicker. It goes on, but it still does scrub. Um, it's amazing. Okay, a few more questions. 
and then I'm going to finish. Um, I feel like a bit tired. I've got a pint of water. How glam and glossy. Mm -hmm. Wendelin Kratchoffville. Wendelin Kratchoffville. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I tried. Okay, favourite matte pastes. Favourite matte pastes. Um, I am looking here. Uh, yes, Sheer Revival. Is that the one? Sheer Revival, Northern Lights. An absolute favourite. It's on the site. I think it's great. You can see there. Really, really good. I love these. Um, oh, it smells amazing too. It's full of... Um, like really good oils. I mean, that doesn't describe it that well, but um, it smells really just like juicy. It's such a good product. And I, I, I like a matte paste because it tends to give you hair, like a bit like this. It's got volume. It's smooth if you want it to be. It's got texture if you want it. Pastes are so versatile. I love this. Label M matte paste is amazing. What else is amazing? You guys know my products better than I know them. Shout out. Um, Arcadian's got a paste, I'm sure they do. Yes, they do. Lockhart's have a paste, which I think is great. Um, pastes are just good. Oh, Evo has a paste. Is that the paste? Molding Whip. Yeah. Oh, gosh, that one's got a bit weird. Molding Whip by Evo is also great as paste. Paste can go from anything to being gloopy and a bit, like, watery to being thick and to having all this texture. Um, it just depends what you're looking for. Um, I'm going to ask, get some more questions. Um, Dylan, Dylan, mate, I see all your questions. Je let me just, are you going to review the Dauntless lineup by Modern Man TV? Yes, I will. When I have those products, I will review them. Give me time. And I've seen that now for like 20 times. It's killing me. And if it's killing me, it's killing everyone else. Um, Smash, can a hair transplant work with fine hair? Yes, it can. A hair transplant um, works in, I say that. So a hair transplant can fail. From all the reading I've done, um, I also have a guy who's done some writing for the site, Specs, who's had 13 hair transplants. And all the writing that he does, I will go through it and I'll, I, th I find it fascinating basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, but hair transplants need to have the optimum conditions for them to work. So not all hair transplants work. They can work on FUI or an FUT have got that really wrong but essentially one's a strip where they'll take the strip from here and they'll place that strip almost like taking um, a new bit of grass and rolling it out or there's another one where they literally take each hair and they plant it back in um going to see a professional in a like in a good clinic is the best thing to do for this um, and that will help you um oh i'm not even going to try and get your name so uh, little up is youtube your main source of income Yes, it is. Um, and it has been seven years in the making, I have to say that. Um, I love this job, honestly. I absolutely love this job. And it is so great to be able to do something that I love for a living. Um, and you guys have allowed that, so yes. Um, this is my main living. Um, what else we've got? Oh, I'm so behind on these questions. I'm gonna just go right down to the bottom here and work my way up again. Um, have you tried Aesop products? And that comes from Zeshan. Um, I have an Aesop uh, soap, which I absolutely love. I tried a shower gel. I've tried a skin oil. Um, it's a product brand that I haven't tried loads of, but I've tried enough to know that I actually do really like them. Um, Nail Mayo San, what product do you use after the shower? Oh. Um, I am currently using a, I think I've got it here. I'm using Avino. Avino. This one is their oatmeal. Do I want to say shea butter? Skin relief nourishing lotion. But they've got another one, which I'm using. I like these because my skin, I'm someone that didn't really um, moisturize my body a lot. No one was seeing it except me. No one was touching it except me. And they're definitely not now. Um, but I'm now investing more in my body. Uh, and actually having really smooth, silky soft skin feels nice. And it actually just makes me feel better about myself. This is amazing. Avino is really amazing. Um, Neutrogena have got some really great ones. 
I get there's a bag of products down here that I need to sort through. But um, Neutrogena is amazing. They've got one with hyaluronic acid. It's in a spray. It's great. Uh, Vaseline, also really good. They've got a cocoa butter one. I absolutely love it. Um, Ameliorate. Um, Ameliorate, if you're French. I'm so sorry. I've just absolutely killed that. Have got really, really amazing products that are just so great for smoothing your skin. So if you're struggling with anything which just feels a little bit rough, they are a good one. Um, wow, we've been going for an hour. Um, who else have we got? I'm going to just do a, a couple more. Niall, you are very welcome. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's this? Dylan. What's your all-time favourite hair product? So tricky, isn't it? Um, ah, I feel like I don't know. Um, some of my favourites, Dylan, are on manfromself.com, um, on the Holy Grail. I love these products. These products are so great. Um, you'll see uh, in here, there's um, Morris Motley Styling Balm, I think is amazing. Apothecary 87, I think they have a solid price um, product. This paste, Label M, I spoke about that a minute ago. So, so good. There's also, um, these three are great. This one, the um, Moroccan Oil Texture Clay is such a fantastic product. Uh, the clay pomade is so good. There's loads on here. So again, I would check this out if you can at some point. Um, this is the kind of best place. Yes, first hand supply, sheer revival, all such goodies. Um, I love them. Uh, what else we got? Solonsky Solar. Guys, you have the best names in history and on YouTube. You must just look at me and think I'm some sort of basic creature with the name Robin James. It's actually my name and I do love it. But with a name like Solonsky Solar, who am I? Um, my favourite alcoholic drink. Right, if you follow me on Instagram, if you're not, come and follow me. Um, do it now. You're on your phones. Uh, don't do it if you're watching this on um, on your phone, but um, follow me. I'll do some like follow... Do I do follow backs? It's a bit weird, isn't it? It's like asking for followers. No, I don't do that. But one of my favourites, and I'm always drinking them, and I've got it in my bio, is um, a, a dirty martini. Um, so a martini, gin, dirty martini with three olives. And I want it really dirty. I want loads of brine in there. Love it. Yesterday, I made a classic margarita, um, which is tequila. Uh, I used Jose Cuervo uh, Silver. It's, so it's two parts tequila, one part triple sec, which is an orange liqueur. I used Cointreau. And then one part lime, like freshly squeezed lime. Shake, shake, shake on ice. Pour it, pour it out. And you've got a, um, a salt rim. It is so good. Some people add agave syrup. Um, I didn't in this one. You can do. I, I love anything like that. Um, your own product line. Really good question, John. I've considered my own product line quite a lot. So about, um, are we still live? I think we are, yes. Um, about like five years ago. No, not five years ago. Four, three, let's call it three. Three years ago, I had a meeting with um, a company which make a lot of hair products for other brands. And I had a meeting with them. And they were like, you, um, I had ideas about different things I wanted to do. And it didn't happen because it didn't happen because they really wanted me to do set, like a certain thing. And I just, it felt like selling out. Also three years ago, like my stuff is in the grand scheme of things fairly small. Like I have a really engaged, a great, loyal, mature audience, AKA you, but I don't have a million or two million. And I think a lot of companies look to that. Um, I don't want to do the thing that everyone else is doing. I want to do something which provides value to you guys. Um, because when I'm looking for a hair product, I want something that does something and that's something that makes my hair feel great and conditions my hair and doesn't strip it of stuff. And to do that, I want to work with the right brands. So uh, at the moment, no, but I have actually spoken to another brand um, because there's also an expertise already there. Um, I don't have the ability myself to create products, but I do have years of experience, seven years of experience of using so many different products and knowing that I love that and I love that. I don't like that. I like this. I don't like that. And I want to combine that and try and create something at work. So um, long and short, uh, yes, I would like to do that at some point. Um, okay. Um, 
Jechish Philip. How old am I? I'm 32. I was born on the 6th of July, 1997. 1997, 1987, wishful thinking. Um, 32. Who knew? I did. Um, what else? Freddie. Freddie Lomas. Hi, Freddie. I'm 17 and I'm losing my hair. Um, there's a question mark there, which suggests you're asking. Um, but I would say, Freddie, losing hair and having hair which doesn't feel like it should be is like an awful thing for a man. Um, and if you're 17, you're still young, you're still growing into yourself. I can say that because I'm almost twice the age you are. Um, but if you're worried, if you're at all worried, go and see your GP or go and see someone. And if you are losing your hair, there's things you can do. You know, there's minoxidil finasteride, and um, there's the biotin for the vitamins, there's other stuff, there's um, sort of like rollers that you can do. Um, and then there's also a little crap that you should avoid. Um, there's also like, like laser treatments and things. Go onto the site on the solutions pages, have a read. I've also got the seven steps to, um, to hair loss. Um, and I say that, Freddie, because if you are wondering, you can have a look on here. I'm actually looking as I speak. And you can basically see kind of what is going to help you. Um, because if your hair is starting to thin, let's see if I can find this for you. If your hair is starting to thin, it's starting to recede. I'm going to show you this at the moment. Um, let's see if I can do this for you. So there's seven stages of hair loss. And they work around this. This is you here, which is at the top which is basically, you've got a full head of hair. So if you think of the clock at 12, you can't see where my mouse is, then it moves round and the sort of M shape comes in, then it gets deeper and then you've got this bit at the back of the head, which almost looks a bit like a, um, a monk. So you can see about the different stages here. Um, this will tell you kind of at what point you should really start to think about it. I was gonna say worry, don't worry. It's easy for me to say, um, but there's more on here. So that's on the Hair Loss Solutions pages. Um, it's giving you some treatments here. It's also got a bit about hair loss, um, transplants. Wayne Rooney had a hair transplant um, and he spoke about it. But this is all on here. Check it out after this. Um, it's in solutions, which is the top, and then it's all in there. Um, that will help you. I want to just provide as much information that I possibly can that is going to help you. Um, a few more, a few more, a few more, like one more. Um, I'm going round in circles. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting better at this, but I'm still not great. Um, what do I do here? Uh, oh, you've gone. Um, a few more. Uh, oh, Robin. Thoughts about permed hair? I think I spoke about that. Get to new comments. Um, oh, I'm really struggling here. Let me do this. Dream Infinity, you have been a star today. I have to say, you like really keeping me company and I know that everyone's still here. That is huge, that text there. Cool. Um, you are saying, hey Robin, are you going to review on the Lockhart uh, tarot sessions? I just read ahead there. And can you please do a video on hair selling products for fine? Thinning hair. Um, Dream Infinity 808. Yes, I can to both. Um, tarot sessions. I actually had a call with Nicole Lockhart, who is one of the nicest human beings. She is so sweet and just really complimentary. Just like, I think as a couple, you didn't ask me about this. I think they're really, really nice. And I just have a lot of time for good people. I honestly do. There are some dickheads in the world, but they are the complete opposite. So good. Um, so I, yes, I would love to try those products. I'm still to get those. Um, and you also asked about products for fine to thinning hair. I've done so much on that. Um, ha please do have a look on the channel after this. Go into the playlists. I need to have a little sort um, at the stuff there. And also the solutions pages, that will help you. There's also um, thickening in the products section. That will help you out. Um, what else have we had here? I'm, do you know what guys? I'm going to, I am going to just say, uh, oh, here we go. Tim Carson, Lumen Skincare, over height. 
So I was sent this by a couple of friends, Lumen, popped up on Instagram. Um, and it's kind of, it's making, so Lumen is a men's skincare. And it's all about, it's kind of, it's going out there and saying that this is something that's gonna change everything with your skin. They look to be quite basic products. Um, there's a cleanser, which is a face wash, there's a moisturizer, and then I think they've got like, I think they might have a sort of cosmetic thing in there. Um, it looks fine, but there are other great products um, that you can use. And I'll, I'll do another sort of morning routine with the, the products that I use. I'll film it like in situ, so I'll just like chat to you as I do it. Um, and I've also got like some new favorite products I'm using at night. My skin at the moment, I am really happy with. Um, I'm gonna zoom in because this is how happy I am with it. Um, it just feels really clear. It feels really clean. Um, I'm just super happy with it. So I, I will talk about the products. I've been doing a chemical skin peel for the last um, like almost month. And I, I just think it's really changed my skin. Um, okay. That is that. Um, just to say, thank you very much. You guys have really been great. Um, I was nervous to do this, and I said that on Instagram stories. I was nervous to come on and do this. Um, but I've really enjoyed this, honestly. Um, my hair doesn't look awful. I'm pleased with that. I'm ready for my evening walk. I'm gonna also have a glass of wine. Um, we're at 5.12 which I think is like perfect time for a glass of wine. Um, please do come and say hi on Instagram. Instagram is where I do a lot of stuff like day to day, a lot of Instagram stories. Um, I'll check and see who's coming across. Um, yes, already some new followers. Hello, hi, hi to all of you. Um, so yeah, there's stuff going on there. I'm doing more videos, a lot of the stuff that I do on here and then there's new stuff too, but um, thank you. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Um, pester me if you want another live. We can do another one for sure. Um, because as I say, you know, I've enjoyed this and it's, and it's been great. Um, so, until my next new video, bye-bye.